Hey family, it's me, Jay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. This channel is everything DIY business and fashion. As you can see from the title, we are doing something a little different and we are going to do an office tour. Well, it's not technically an office, but it's, not it's an office. <laughs> um, I will. I am going to share with you guys my space in my apartment that I use as my office, and I'm going to show you guys like the behind the scenes of my jewelry business. This was highly requested, so I thought, why not share and um share you share with you behind the scenes. Before we get into this video, please, please, please do not forget to like and subscribe because it's free 99 period so um let's get into this video sorry okay so as i said my office is my apartment because a girl broke and i can't afford no um office space yet so i use my apartment it has my office i have a loft part in my upstairs and i just converted it into my working area so behind me is like my little sitting area. Um, behind me is like my little sitting area that I use for like if I want to sit down. Um, yeah, so it's just like my little decor sitting area. Um, this side is basically my organizers. Uh, one of my one of the sides that has like my materials and stuff of all the items that I sell. So when it's time to ship out, we get and look for everything in these organizers. And then um, you can come up close and show them what's in, inside. So when it's time for us to get orders out, we look for our items in these organizers and then we get the orders ready. You can find these organizers at Uline. Uline is pretty expensive. Um, so I would recommend you starting off with these type of organizers. Um, show them these type of organizers. You could get these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, okay? So I highly recommend these because these are the ones I originally started off with. I started off with these organizers and we just bought a whole bunch of them and we sort everything like that. Um, this is my desk. This is where I mainly work um and create um I, this is where i mainly see uh, sit at i actually got this desk from like a um facebook market for like 50 60 bucks and then i revamp it with the marble towel and the um crystal knobs i have a video of that on the channel go check it out and then um uh, i also hold like my personal beads in here because i have my own personal stash of beads um Cause I shop everywhere. I shop Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, whoever got some cute beads. So yeah, so this is my desk. I'm sorry, you guys. Everything is not super neat. And I intentionally made sure everything wasn't super neat and tidy because I feel like that's not the reality and that's not realistic of how the shit really be behind the scenes. So yeah. So... Over here, I got some more organizer stuff. I feel like organizers is the key to having a jewelry business because this is where you can hold like all your stuff. So like I have my little Apple Band connectors in here. I have more um, different accessories in here. So yeah, so organizers is key. So you can remember what stuff is at. Then we're gonna go over to this side. We got our full our full body mirror. Oh, show them my outfit. Outfit of the day. Yes. Yes, my sister picked this out for me from Forever 21. What it looks like, $6? Mm. It was like six, less than $10. Let's just say that. This dress is less than $10. Back to the video. This is my shipping, uh, my shipping area. I ship my labels with the HP printer. I have a video about how to shop for these printers and how to get a good deal so i shop my printer for that and then i have a variety of labels so i use these labels because i um when i use ups i use these type of labels and then when i'm shipping out like my smaller items 
I have these labels. And then when I'm shipping out like my bands and like when they order my like, more than one bands and band stuff, I use these labels. So I pretty much use these for my personal customers. And then I use these type of labels for my wholesale customers. So this is our little shipping area. And then we have a um, board for the to-do list. Um, we got our little bean bag chairs from when we tired of sitting in regular chairs. We got this. And also when we're um, getting orders ready, we don't have to sit on the hard floor. We have these cool bean bag chairs we picked up. Then right here is another cubicle full of charms and accessories. Um, like, like I said, you can get these organizers from the Dollar Tree. This organizer, all of these organizers was from Walmart. Um, and I just bought like a whole bunch of them. So, and stacked them up. So, this is basically two of them. And I stacked it on top of each other. And then this is one. And that was like 40, 50 bucks at Walmart. And then I organized all the luxury charms with this. As you can see, it's like 50 color, 28 color. And these cubbies you can find at Amazon. And then all of these charms right here. You see all these beautiful charms. This is my, my stash. So I put all, also my charm stash is in this section right here. And then down here is wholesale. But up here, that's mine. So you can get these from Walmart. I love these. I love these organizers. These are super cute. I love how that you can see everything. They at Walmart for like $2.99, $3.99. So get you some, sis, because these are cute. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at my assistant work. Beautiful. Beautiful. My assistant. Did, my, if you guys don't know, my, my sister is my assistant. So, um, mm -hmm. she organized all of these. She color coordinated everything. And then I even got stuff up here. So, yeah. This is like months worth of like collecting stuff. So then we got this, um, then we, as you go over to this side, this is our new workstation. This is where, um, we will be sorting orders and stuff like, um, I mean, not sorting orders, but getting like the wholesales, um, charms together because when I get them in, I have to like break them down and everything. So this will also be like my new spot to work on if I'm tired of sitting at my desk because up here is really bad lighting. So sitting right here will be much easier with my ring light. And then um, we have our new employee here with us today. I, my mom is here. She's helping us with the beads because um, restock is Sunday. So we're so busy with work. So my mom is sorting all the beads for you guys. So when you guys get the beads, that's us putting in that work. They, they don't come like that. We have to break them down, put the right number, and then put it together for y'all. So that's what my mom is doing. If you miss one, don't blame um, <laughs> She said if she missed one, don't blame her. So, yeah, so that's what she's doing. She found this cool little table, and she's in one of the bean bags. And then, um, like I said, this is the table. We still breaking stuff down, so again, y'all, it's not the neatest right now, but y'all know how it is. And then I got a new machine, so called the Cricut, the Circuit, the Circuit or the Cricut? The Circuit. The Circuit. Um, Cricut. I thought it's called Cricut. Cricut. It is called Circuit. Cricut. Just Cricut. Circuit. C R I C U T. C U T. Cricut. Circuit. Circuit. Yes. That is cricket. Cricket. It's circuit. If you hear everyone else pronunciation of it, hey Siri, type it in. She said you kept you you kept calling it a cricket. I don't know. You you making me mess up. You kept saying something. Whatever. Y'all see the word. Y'all know what we mean. So. Over here is why I pretty much, over here is not really um, set how I want to do it 
because I got the ring light right here. I got my photo box right here from when I'm like taking pictures. But you get that now. <laughs> Day rudeness. Um, so yeah, and then um I also wanna let you guys know like if you wanna not have to worry about paying for like lab uh packaging and label, use USPS free ninety nine packaging. Please, they have some at the post office that's free. But if not, you can go on the USPS.com website and get you some free packaging. Free 99 cents, okay? Because packaging can be expensive as hell. So, as you move over, you will see my backdrop. And then that's that section. And then my ring light is right here. I got that from Amazon. My photo box is right here. I got that from Amazon. And then my new stand that I use for when I'm recording and stuff, I got that from Amazon too. And at this point, Amazon needs to pay me, okay? Because I've been Amazon and Amazon and it up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what else people want to know? Be <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much, much this job hey how much is this job? Uh, so yeah so like i just try to keep everything it's not easy keeping everything like organized so we just try to keep everything and they set little sections and bins that's the most part what i try to do but at this point i really i've grown my lost space but I'm still doing what it do. I'm still making it work. And I think it's really, really creative how it is now. Because it didn't always look like this. At first, it was a whole different setup. So now it's like everything on the side. And then it's that empty space. So if you got like a basement at home, an extra room in the house, be creative with it. And make it into your office space. Because baby, uh, office rental space is expensive. Like, that's a whole new rent, okay? So, make do what you do until you get up there. Like, um, if you don't have a basement or an extra room in your house, then just push all your stuff in your room, you know, to the to an opposite side and then leave yourself a little room for a little office, office desk and then get you some cubicles. That's why I said keep it, having cubicles is essential because it, like, you know, not make it seem so cluttered, but everything's still nice and neat. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or um, you want to know where I got something in particular. But I'm going to tell you this now. Everything in this office pretty much was from, one, the Dollar Tree. If I couldn't find it at Dollar Tree, I went to Amazon. If I couldn't find it at Amazon, then I went to Walmart. So those top three places that I went to, to to get literally everything that's in here. The only thing that's different is my decor stuff. And um, even then, those chairs is from Walmart. That console table was from a thrift store. And then I just DIY'd it and re redid it myself. And then my um, vases and my decor vases, they from um, Home Goods. And then my um, Black Queen picture i got that from mother's day from my husband so yeah everything else is for the low i don't i don't i don't believe in spending too much money on stuff i really try to find deals because you know we broke right now we trying to we trying to make money and profit so we need to act like it and be very frugal so we need to find the best deals possible in the beginning so that's what i recommend to you guys and i hope this uh, office space slash fun slash mini skip video was um helpful um hey guys so while i'm doing the tour i am going to ask the members of my team um questions that is related and similar to the store the office if you do not if you have not watched the sitcom the office you may not, I guess, understand my questions, but if you do watch The Office, then you will get the correlation of what's going on. So, first, we're going to introduce our team member slash my sister slash assistant slash supervisor, Maya. So, she's going to get asked her question first. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maya. So, what made you apply to JSR? So, really, in all honesty, I didn't apply to JSR. JSR hired me. Y'all said y'all was hiring, so <laughs> y'all needed people, and I was just so happy to be convenient in here. Yeah, I mean, it's a good experience, so why not? <laughs> Hey family, so this is my mom. She is here helping us out for restock. So how would you say is doing everything? Is it hard? Is it easy? I'm a vet. It's easy. <laughs> you sure? Cause you, from what I recall, you was over there struggling earlier counting the beads. <laughs> I can remember if 38 coming for 39, 39 coming for 30. <laughs> so, my mama over there wearing that green shirt over there looking like the Grinch. Oh, um, I should still be counting on beads because, um, honey, if it's 37 or 38 beads up in there, they're going to be coming back for us. She knew. We ain't got time for that. For real. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Sheldon Masari here. He is payroll and operations slash manager of JSRE. And the question is, how is it being payroll and operations slash manager with your wife? Slash boss. Slash boss. Have you watched the Tom and Jerry? <laughs> it's kind of like that, you know? Sometimes you win, sometimes, most of the time you lose, you know? I feel like I'm Jerry, you know? I'm supposed to be like the wise guy, but it looks like I'm always getting almost eaten up, you know? But I survive, you know? I survive. Try not to get eaten. I want the cheese, though, but yeah. That cat. Evil. Anyway, yeah. Does that make sense? No. Don't worry about it. That's how it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the little skit that we did. But I just wanted to show you guys my desk again, how I always give myself sticky notes um, to remind myself what bands I need to do. I give myself little reminders on, um, which is like notes on how I create my different bracelets and bands. I always, always have some candles, manifestation candles to get myself in the mood, good energy. I have my Bible just in case I want to meditate and read a couple of strip scriptures. Um, those are bands that I was working on. This is my junkie drawer where I create things. Um, yeah, so that's my desk. I kind of wanted to go more in detail on that. I already told you guys about this section. And then I just want to say how I always had like, I always write my ideas down and that paper is over three years old of all the ideas and things that I want to do. But like always, thank you for coming to the channel. Bye.